Greetings my fellow Fright Fiends and thanks for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Today's video is going to be talking about a brand new documentary that just launched I believe this week on on demand and uh, streaming platforms. Uh, this is a documentary that I've been following for quite a while now. Um, it features a icon from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, uh, a gentleman that I was able to meet uh, several years ago at Sinister Creature Con. Uh, it was a completely amazing experience and I've been looking forward to checking this documentary out um, as soon as I heard that it was going into production. The name of the documentary is called Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street and of course I am talking about Mark Patton who played Jesse Walsh in A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Uh, this is a film that I've always loved. Uh, I grew up with this film. Growing up in the 80s you didn't see a lot of films like this and of course, this film is notorious for having uh, homosexual undertones and being a, known as the gayest uh, horror film ever made. And I was a very young kid when this movie came out. I think uh, this movie came out in 1985, so I was 11 years old. I didn't get to see it until I was about 13, so I was a little bit older. Um, but I always liked it, and it was always the Nightmare on Elm Street film that was kind of like the Black Sheep. A lot of people hated this film. But I'm glad that in recent years this movie has gotten more of a uh, support, a following. I think it just speaks to the different times that we're living in. But uh, before I get ahead of myself, let me just talk about what the movie is about, what this documentary is about. So pretty much what Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street speaks about is the controversial sequel, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge, and its effect on star Mark Patton's acting career. The film chronicles Mr. Patton's return to the public eye um, and his tour of various horror conventions around the United States. Uh, throughout the film, Mark attempts to make peace with his past and painful reminders of his acting career ending before it began, all having to do with A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. What Mark comes to realize throughout the course of the film is he embraces his legacy as uh, the first male scream queen, but also as a role model for, for gay people as well as people that just never fit in. The movie is directed by Roman Ciamenti and Tyler Jensen. So like I said, I had the honor of meeting Mark Patton um, at the Sinister Creature Con in Sacramento uh, back in 2017. Uh, he signed, uh, I'll show this up close at the end, but he signed uh, my DVD copy of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. I also have a poster that Mark signed uh, for this uh, documentary. And uh, I told him I was really uh, excited to see it and uh, was really happy he was doing it and was always going to support him. Uh, with whatever he did and he was very very sweet and uh, one of the best uh, celebrity experiences I've ever had. Um, this documentary really was beautiful. Um, it's a very personal story about what someone would go through when they were pretty much outed uh, as being gay and not wanting to make that known. Um, again, the 80s were a very different time and you see that Mark Patton's career was just taking off. He had done, you know, uh, Broadway. He was starting to get into television work. And then, of course, he gets the lead in A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, and everything kind of changes for him, not only in his career, but also his personal life. I don't want to talk too much about it because I want people to watch and embrace this film. Like I said, it's on streaming platforms now. But, but I think it's a beautiful documentary, and I'm so glad that I watched it. Uh, you know, I, I think everybody needs to watch it and support it. I know that he put a lot of time and money into it and uh, it really speaks volumes to how people felt, not just gay people, but people that were outcasts. And I was an outcast as a kid. I always felt different. I always felt odd. Uh, you know, I always felt like I didn't fit in, but I did identify with Nightmare on Elm Street 2 uh, a lot and I think it's because it had a male lead and it wasn't something that you saw in horror films back in the 80s. It was always the final girl. It was never the final guy. And uh, yeah, I, I've always loved the film. I never understood the hate for it. Even, you know, back when it was, you know, it wasn't cool to like this film. I still loved it and I always have. I think Mark Patton's a beautiful person. Uh, he's been through a lot of hardships in his life and he's come out of it. Um, I think he's, uh, he's, he's uh, battled his demons and I think he's in a better place now. And I think this documentary and the fan support um, have helped him along on this journey. If I rated this on my scale, I would give Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street, five skulls. So 
So that is it, fellow fiends. Again, thank you so much for continuing to support the Horror Zone, supporting what I do here. If you guys have seen this documentary, please leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Also, are you a fan of A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2? Um, this film, like I said, is a staple from my youth. I've always loved it. And uh, I'm curious if other people were fans of it before it was cool to be fans of it. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, much support to Mark Patton and his documentary. And I hope everyone will stick around. I got some really cool stuff coming up later this month. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Thank everyone for taking this time to drop by the horror zone it really means a lot to me that people are supporting what i do here if you like this video um, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below uh, i upload videos at least once or twice a week it would really mean a lot if people would spread the word about this channel um, I this is a passion of mine I love the horror genre and uh, I'm really happy to share uh, my love of it with all of you so thanks so much again for checking it out and I'll talk to you guys later take it easy peace